Joining me today is Brianne Edwards out of Estes Park, Colorado. Out of an audience of more than 50,000 agents nationwide, Brianne was selected to represent Broker Agent Advisor as this month's Broker Agent of the Month for the state of Colorado. And Brianne, it's been a treat for me to get to know you a little bit through this process. And I'm excited to sort of shine a light on you for the way you approach this business and what you represent as a realtor. And I just wanna say congratulations on being recognized and thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Brian. It's been a really fun experience getting to this point and I'm super honored um, to get to have this conversation and be recognized. Well, it's my hope, Brianne, that anybody that gets a chance to watch this video just gets a sense for who you are and, and maybe a little bit about why you were selected. But I thought we would just explore a few questions together. And I want to start with the topic of real estate. You're outside of, you know, a big market there in Colorado. There's a lot of things you could be doing professionally. What was the inspiration for you to get in this business and to become a realtor? The biggest motivating factor, I think, was probably I was in property management. So I kind of had my toes in the water on that side of things. And um, turns out not wanting to be an employee or work corporate America is genetic in my family. And um, when my dad sold his business, we were in property management together. Um, turns out I didn't like going back to being an employee and I, was offered the opportunity to get my license and work very closely with one of our top brokers in the Valley. And turned out I really felt like I was home right away. And uh, now it's been almost four years. <laughs> right, and here you are, right? It's fun to find your way in that way. Obviously property management is a big, it's an important aspect of, of the real estate business in general, but it's not being a realtor like you are today. Right. And I think I have talked to thousands of agents. Often they find that this business is a lot harder than they think it is. I think most people outside the business think all realtors make a ton of money and this business is easy. And, and the reality is, if you look at the statistics, most people don't find success. And yet here you are thriving your fourth year in the business. What, what sort of keeps you in it? What do you find most rewarding about this, this career? Well, I feel super fortunate that um, I am living, working, raising my family and playing in my hometown where I grew up. So I have a very sentimental connection to my market and the community that I get to work with. And I think what keeps me going through the roller coaster, the weird hours and the stressful negotiations um, are the people. And I've always been very relationship driven. Um, definitely a helper uh, personality and getting my license and getting to work real estate in my hometown has really just given me an opportunity to be that person um, that maybe I was looking for at different phases in my life, um, but also make those connections outside of real estate. And now in my fourth year, I'm finding that those connections have turned into um, getting to help them professionally, but, you know, so much of it is just um, being that helper, being in that place of service, and um, connecting with people across the community that I otherwise might not be able to. Yeah, that's fantastic. I have identified that there's a certain level of compassion that's required to be able to sustain a long career in this business and stay happy doing it. Uh, Brianne, I found a testimonial of yours and I thought it would be appropriate to listen to how a client described going through that process of buying or selling a house with you as their realtor. So we had such a wonderful experience purchasing our first home. Our realtor, Brianne Edwards, was an absolute joy to work with. She responded quickly to any and all questions we had about the process and offered to help every step of the way. I cannot recommend Brianne and First Colorado Realty enough. Short and sweet, but I think exactly what you would aspire for people to say, having finished an experience that you provided for them as someone that likes to serve others. And you have a lot of those, congrats on the kind words. Thank you, that means so much. And yes, that is exactly when I start my relationship with people. That's what I, I hope to exceed their expectations. And 
Um, so it gave me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a unique position, right? You're kind of born and raised in the market that you 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 know you're able to be a professional in. What's it like to live, work, and play in the Estes Valley? Tell me about a little bit about where you live. Well, we're a small mountain resort town about 90 miles northwest of Denver and geographically isolated, but we have Rocky Mountain National Park in our backyard and um, fall is in the air, so we're watching the leaves change and the elk are starting to bugle and, um, but we're definitely an outdoor lovers paradise between hiking, mountain biking, all things Colorado, except for skiing. Yeah. I've not spent that much time in the greater Denver market and everybody I talk to out there just talks about how beautiful it is. And at some point I'm going to have to see it. Um, before I let you go, I want to ask you one more question. You've got some great experience. Uh, real, we've already established real estate can be a tough business. It's been especially tough the last few years. We've had unprecedented low inventory. It's created a lot of pressure and tension on either side of the transaction. And I feel like a lot of people out there could benefit from leaning into your experience. And I, I just want to ask, if you were to give one piece of advice to appear in this business, what would that piece of advice be? Uh, the best advice... I could give is that mindset matters. Um, I think that especially in stressful situations or industries or life, um, things can either happen to you or they can happen for you. And I think that a lot of times it's so easy to default to why is this happening to me instead of why is this happening for me and finding the gift in it? And I've just really found over the last several years that if I can stay focused on the gift of the situation instead of the stress and the difficult piece of it, um, I'm able to navigate it through it faster and with a smile on my face. And in this industry where your client is looking to you for how do I get from point A to point B, you have to maintain that piece of the mindset. So that has helped me with life, with my business, and um, that's what I would pass on. I think it's fantastic. Brianne, I think you're fantastic. You are a great representation of what it means to be a professional realtor, and I'm proud to share a few minutes shining a light on you, and I just want to say congratulations again on being recognized and I wish you nothing but joy and abundance on the rest of your journey. Thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate it so much. You're welcome.